morning, Friday 19th of October. Just uh, getting ready now, checking out of the hotel here, and then we're off hiking. First time we've been hiking in uh, Nipah, that'll be good. So, okay, let's get going. Okay, trekking team. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready to go? Yeah, we are. Trekking in Nepal. <laughs> Let's go see some mountains. It's very bumpy now and shaky. <laughs> well, this is the start of the trek here. It's driven up here in our Jeep, very bumpy roads. Okay, hiking team. Yeah. You ready Hi. to go? Yes. <laughs> We've just been dropped off by the taxi, so now it's uh, just to do walk a bit, walk up the mountain here. So the river down there, that's the Bagmati River, it leads from the Himalayas. And it was also the same river that we saw yesterday, where they were doing the cremations. And this river, this is uh, leads into the Ganges. So this is the start. Got the Ganges here in the Himalayas. Okay, doesn't take long. But we start going up very steeply. Okay, so we're just starting the tour here. We're starting from a town called Sunda Rijal. That's where the road ends and turns into a small track here. So we have to Go through a checkpoint and pay 1,000 rupees each. So now we're registered. This is a national park. So now we're going to follow the trail up here, up the side of the river, and uh, climbing up to 2,500 meters today. So it starts pretty steeply. The steps here in the forest here. We've been trekking in many places, Scotland, Wales, uh, Austria, Norway, Peru, but this is the first time, <laughs> first time in Nepal, that's exciting, let's see what that's like. We're at 1,600 meters now. Okay. This is where we're going today, we started here, we're taking the trail here, she's so funny, and tomorrow we're walking much further tomorrow this way, and I've got cross. We're about to cross the Bagamati waterfall. This is very close now to the source of the Ganges. Pretty steep all the way from the start. Down there below, just uh, 
on our way before lunch now, so it's uh, very steep the first part, but uh, the rest of it should be a little bit easier. And then tomorrow is mainly downhill, even though we have many more kilometres tomorrow. But, uh, let's see how it goes. So we just had our lunch here. Nice lunch at the hotel, mate. This is the place, yeah? This is the lunch lunch break place. Water there. Today's the last day of the festival here, so uh, see the family are in there now having a well, lunch together, I could say. We have to carry up there now. There's a few uh, shops here, this is the last place you can buy any food or water, and we have to walk up the mountain. After lunch, it's a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit much more. <laughs> it's very steep before lunch. It's nice, nice path here. There's the Danish team. How are you doing? <laughs> Used to walking on the flats, now they have to go up a hill. Yeah. And it is a big hill. In many, many steps, you must have been. Yeah, very steep actually. Yeah. We've actually gone up uh, 500 meters, we went up just this morning. About 2,000 meters, we have to go up to 2,466 now. It was told it was an easy track, but it's not easy for a Danish person. And it's probably easy for Nepal when yeah. Mount Everest is just a few <laughs> <laughs> kilometers away. I have to say there, Top, it's not an easy track, even though the hotel said it was an easy track. It is not. So it's very top of the boulder. People. <laughs> it's a little bit hard. <laughs> it is hard. Yeah, it's going well. It's not easy. It's going very well. Yeah, we've got to be very professional today with these rucksack and these binoculars there. Yes. Very professional. Here is She only had the little one, yes. and that was actually mine. Yeah. So I am almost carrying the men for her. You're the donkey today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the little and, elephant. And thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have to go some steps. Now. There are a lot of steps here. Trick here. We're on our nice hiking tour here. Yeah. First time we're hiking in Nepal, yeah? Yes, first time. In the jungle? Yeah. We think this, dinosaurs have been living here. Because this is the dinosaur uh, for vegetarian dinosaurs. Mm. They eat this, and I think in generations, generations, the dinosaurs have been here to eat mm. these But I don't know. It's very nice. It looks like you're in the middle of a jungle. It's very we are in the middle of the nice jungle. view. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. There's a family that thought Jamie was our guide. So there are two girls that are joining us to go with us or walking with us to Chisapani. That's it, downhill from here until we get to Chisapani. forest today so we haven't been able to see too much view of the mountains but uh, 
And there we have a, a glimpse of it. Okay, we did it. <laughs> so this is Chisapani. We went on the internet. This town was very badly uh, hit by the earthquake. And as we can see, yeah. Our hotel hopefully is one of those that didn't get hit too badly. So. And tomorrow, this way, Nagakot. Looks like a main road. Oh, nice view. Oh, our hotel. I hope this one doesn't fall down on top of us. Okay, so this is our hotel. We're staying there and there. Cost three pounds a room. So, price is okay. It's the only hotel I think that's uh, not destroyed. So that was a nice day really. Nice to... Uh, Try uh, hiking here in Nepal. I haven't tried that before. So, uh, yeah, that's why you do it here. You hike all day and then you just stay in these uh, simple hotels here in the mountains. So, uh, that's good. I heard this uh, town had been hit by the earthquake. We didn't realize it was so badly hit. Um, but uh, the place we are staying is the only place that looks uh, <laughs> as if it's uh, in use at the moment. But yeah, that was okay. A little bit steep to start off with. Before lunch was pretty steep and hard going, but after lunch it was okay. Pretty flat and easy really. Through the forest, that's nice. So uh, that's it. We'll have a cup of tea now and then uh, shower and uh, maybe have some dinner here. That should be good. There used to be quite a few hotels in this small village here, but now our hotel seems to be the only one that's still standing. Well, this is actually also destroyed, but it's the only one being rebuilt since the earthquake. Well, just time for dinner now. <laughs> you okay, everybody? <laughs> nice restaurant here up in the mountain. <laughs> well, this is what it's like here. There's the kitchen. This is the only place that's left now here in the village. Oh, everybody's here. <laughs> And we're in a nice mountain hotel here. Hotel. Hotel. <laughs> and I'm ready for bed now. I'm taking my rain jacket off and I'm ready to go to, go to bed. Because it's a little bit cold here. We didn't take like thermal underwear and all this like we normally do because we have to save on the weight. So I'm going to bed now with my socks on, my hiking trousers, my fleece, my wooden long sleeve top. Wooden t shirt and a top underneath that. And Jamie's thing here is as a hat. I hope it will be warm enough. Yes, we got from my auntie clean, that's very useful. Multi purpose uh, scarf there. <laughs> so I hope it will be warm enough because it's a little bit cold here. Yeah. I think it will be fine. <laughs>